Movie stars, they can't fight. But not just movie stars. We're talking about martial arts movie stars, the people around the world that idolize these guys who can jump in the air and do 360s and flips and throw kicks midair. They can't fight, but why not? I mean, the techniques look good. What are they missing? So when we look at martial arts movie stars, guys like Jason Statham, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Sylvester Stallone, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Jet Li, like they all have so much going for them. The techniques they throw, great technique. Sometimes beautiful, impeccable looking. They got the bodies for it, obviously, right? They're ripped, they're shredded, they probably have that cardio. But if you threw them into the ring to fight somebody, most likely they would get annihilated. And it's not for lacking power, because we already said their technique is there. How do you get really good power in your technique? Well, you learn how to throw really, really well. You make sure you don't go in really wide. These guys, they have it. Boom, boom. They have all that kind of stuff. What's left? What is missing? It is very simply the defense. And not strictly defense in terms of, oh, we don't know how to block. It's defense when somebody's really trying to knock you out. That is the difference between keyboard warriors, martial arts movie stars, and the guys who can actually do it. The people who can actually do it have it all, but they have the very hardest part of the big whole circle in which you need to be a real fighter. The smallest, hardest part how to deal with shots when somebody is trying to knock you out. It's as simple as that. And again, if you guys are wanting to improve your defense, whether it be with training partners or from home, I have my ultimate guide to defense for striking sports available right now with a massive discount as a thank you because we are right on the edge of crossing 250,000 subscribers on this channel. As a gift, it is 35% off this fantastic course which has a live segment, which has pre-recorded videos. We're gonna talk about everything you need to know about defending yourself properly in any striking sport. So click the link in the description below and check out that course. You know what is kind of funny about martial arts movies is so often, like stop and think about Bloodsport. Stop and think about Rocky. How often do they put emphasis on defense? As opposed to both guys going back and forward using pretty much only offense and just pounding each other back and forward, back and forward. Yes, in Rocky III, there is a moment where Sylvester Stallone or Rocky decides, okay, I can't beat Clubber Lang with no defense. So he ends up just kind of doing the same thing Ali did effectively against George Foreman, where he just shells up and takes a beating to tire the guy out. It is kind of defense, but definitely not the best defense. We want to have these tiny, small little motions so that when somebody does throw a big shot at us, we're not just standing here and getting rattled. We're learning to roll so that shots deflect off with forearms or so that the big overhand doesn't come behind your head. You actually get a little bit of extra coverage by reaching behind. But when you think about fight scenes in Hollywood, it is usually offense, 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 offense all day long. And why is that? Because the offense is cool and they want guys to get hit because again, that makes it more exciting. But when you're in fight sports, you don't wanna be somebody who's taking loads of impact. Remember, it is hit, but not get hit back. That's what we're aiming for. And that is the two parts of fight sports. We want to develop the good offense and we want to develop the good defense so we're not taking big, powerful shots which are going to damage us. That's the main thing that I see when I watch movies and I go, why are these very high-level strikers? Because they are high-level strikers. They have the skills offensively to do everything. Why can they not fight? Why when you see these dudes in these situations where they actually have somebody who knows something in front of them, they just look so awkward 
and so uncomfortable. It's because the defense is not there. And it's a reminder to all of us to work our defense. And I guess a follow-up question that many of you will have is, okay, well, Gabriel, how good can I get at overall fight sports by training from home? You know, I don't want to go to the gym. I'm just going to train at home. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Let's say your skill level is here right now. And you decide, I want to train at home. And you shoot it up to here. You know, you're watching my videos. You're taking the tips. You're implementing them. Your skill level has increased. But it will not. It cannot get as good as it might without somebody throwing back at you. There's a difference between practicing blocking midair or hitting the bag and only focusing on offense as opposed to somebody actually coming and trying to hit you and you learning, okay, the shot's coming, I have to slip and throw at the same time or I'm in the middle of my offense, oh, I have to block and counter back. Oh, I have to move my feet and then step back in so the shot swings by me. There's so much more you can do with a partner. So if you have the opportunity to get somebody and bring them into your home, if you're training in your garage, find somebody, do some back and forward work, that will help your skill level really bump to that next point where you're going, yeah, okay, I feel like now I'm really accomplishing something. Defense, it's so important. Doesn't matter if you have a fight coming up, doesn't matter if you're just looking to be a higher skill level than you were yesterday, train it, you will improve. Let's call it there, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. Train hard, and I will see you back here soon for another video.